Come after me, big guy. Look at those claws on his feet. He's just... Oh my god! Holy crap, that scared the shit... No, we're dead. Our phoenix is dead. Oh my god, what the... What the hell just happened? We just... We just got destroyed. <laughs> Holy crap. What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another modded episode of Ark for you guys today and boy oh boy have our mutations come a long way. So guys as you can probably see from the thumbnail from last, wow that is so disappointing. That literally, I had this all hyped up and everything and this is the crap that it spits out for me. So I had this whole hyped up and I was going to show you guys what sort of mutations we had gotten and everything and then it poops out a regular baby. Let's try this egg. And if this doesn't work, then I have no idea what is going on with our mutations. We had, as you guys saw probably from the thumbnail from last video, like these awesome mutations going on. And now we've got nothing but red feet. That, uh, that's disappointing. We're going to claim this one anyway. It's a shitty level, but eh, it'll do the trick. All right. So there was the, that whole intro gone. Um, now that's, uh, that's, that's really disappointing. So guys, what we're doing today is we are going to be taming up, well, hopefully taming up, the Ultimasaurus. Now, the Ultimasaurus is made using the Jurassic Park workbench, so not this one, the other one, um, which we've got at the other base, so we have to fly over there. We have managed to grab enough Raptor DNA. Thank God for that. It took us so long to farm it up. So we are going to head over there right now and make it, and I'll show you guys the Phoenix as well at the moment. So this is our Phoenix that we have been using to breed, and you can see... It's got some real nice colors on it. Like, look at the colors on it. It looks sick. Unfortunately, none of the babies have been popping out like that. So, it's a bit of a damn shame. But we are going to take that and that with us. We will be coming back here because uh, we're going to be using the trap down here. Because from what I can remember of the Ultimasaurus, it's pretty damn big. So, we're going to head up to the old base. And then we're going to bring it back down here, I think. There's a trap over there set up. We've got 300 Trank Darts. We've repaired our Trank Rifle. I'm honestly hoping that 300 Trank Darts is enough and that our rifle has enough durability. This is the trap we're going to be bringing them to down here. Yeah, this one here. So we're going to try and see if he... Uh, actually, is that big enough for him? Should be big enough, right? I guess we'll find out when we come back. So guys, don't forget, if you're enjoying the video at any time, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below for more. But uh, without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Alrighty guys, here we go, and Ultimasaurus, boom! Crafting that bad boy up. Now, there were two variants that I didn't actually realize. So, there was the uh, variant that had the Raptor, and then a variant with Dago. So, I don't know what the difference is going to be between them. Hopefully nothing, and it's just a one way to make them. But I forgot how many dinos we had back here. Like, we've got our Poison Wyvern back here. Have we got any eggs? We've got a Torvo egg, that's it. Um, yeah, so we've only got like our Wyvern, our Gorgonospid, and then these dudes over here, which, to be honest, were extremely disappointing. The Anasucus, which was very disappointing, and then the Coolosaurus, which was even more disappointing. So, I mean, <laughs> they were made from the DNA thing as well that we're doing at the moment. Let's just jump in here and grab it. There it is. Woo! Ultimasaurus. Let's head back and grab, uh, let's head back and spawn this guy in, I guess. See if it works. Although, knowing our luck, we'll have terrible luck and he won't actually work. And he'll just be this big disappointing nothingness and we would have wasted all our DNA for nothing. That's, that's how I see it going for us. So guys, we'll bring you back when we're back at the other base. Alrighty guys, here we go. We're back in the desert. We just got another level on our Phoenix. That was the wrong thing to put it in. Whoops. So, here we are. Now, our trap is just over here, right? Should be just here. Yeah. I'm, I don't know how well this is going to work. I'm scared to find out. I don't know how powerful this thing is going to be. How high are our walls? Three high. That's high enough for a wreck. So, surely this thing should be good, right? Let's come up in the air because we seem to have more luck when we're in the air and do this than when we are on the floor. And please, please work. Well, wait, what? Is that it there? 
What the hell is that? Is this the Ultimasaurus? It's a Quetz. What is this? What we summoned in? I am extremely confused right now. Like, is this it? Uh, hello? Wild male Quetzal. Uh, this t definitely does not look like a normal Quetzal. I'm extremely confused right now. Uh, what just happened? Is this what we were supposed to get? There was not even any, like, Quetzal DNA. Um... Okay then, I guess we're going back and making the other one because that is not what we were expecting. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't know what the hell that is. Alrighty guys, we're flying back now. We actually have the right one with us this time, I think. So this was the one that required Raptor DNA, so I'm hoping it's the right one. I don't know why we got a Quetzal for. We got a Quetzal that's not actually a... Is it awake or is it tamed? No, it's not even tamed, what the hell? I mean, I'm going to knock it out and try and tame it because I spent all that, whoops, DNA on it. It's only level 25 anyway. God damn it, it got away with all our mutton. How quick does its torpor drop? Yeah, so I'm hoping this time we get the right one. Because in the actual picture of, like, the mod, you can actually see him. Like, he's one of the, like, the first opening ones. So I kind of know what he looks like. Is this guy going to eat the mutton? I don't even know. Three, six, one, four. I guess when it gets to 10, we'll find out. And I kind of don't want to get the thingy in right now because I don't know if it'll eat our quits. Okay. Uh, we got, we've got. we only got 77 narcotics. Holy crap, making those 300 darts definitely tore through our narcotics. That's for sure. All right. That's that done. Let's... Uh, this, uh, all right, let's get some water real quick. Do we have any in our canteen? Yeah, we do. Never mind. All right. Um, I don't know how we want to do this. I think it's better if we do it on our Phoenix, just so we can actually kite it into the cage. Alright. And let's go. There he is. Alright, here he comes. No, don't attack them. Don't attack them. Attack me. Ah, oh, man. Well, that's what he looks like. That's the right one. That's what he was supposed to look like. Is he just not able to attack the trikes? Or, like, what's his deal? Come after me, big guy. Look at those claws on his feet. He's just... Oh my god! Holy crap, that scared the shit... No, we're dead. Our phoenix is dead. Oh my god, what the... What the hell just happened? We just... We just got destroyed! <laughs> Holy crap! I really hope we got a phoenix egg with the mutations of its mama. Otherwise, all that hard work of breeding is gone to waste. Oh, man, that sucks. God damn it. What the? That freaking capro just ruined everything for us. A single capro. We're going to take our beta and it on out there. And see what the damage is like. Holy smackadoodles. That was horrifying. We just got destroyed. Oh, I... <laughs> Of poor Phoenix as well. Just got absolutely mutilated. Did you guys see how long it lasted? Like two bites and it was dead. Alright. We're coming up on the trap now. Far out. Let's just take a little bit of a breather here. The main thing we need to accomplish right now is getting that Capra away from us. Alright, looks like the Ultimasaurus is killing stuff now. I don't know if it's able to kill the trikes or like what the deal is with that. We've got we can take like three hits, that's it. I probably should have built a ramp trap now that I think about it. I don't know if that is he gonna come after us? Hey big guy. Come on. Come get me. Oh god, I'm terrified. He's very slow. Is he gonna come and get me? He's just kind of off in his own little world. Hey mate! Look at this juicy bee in front of you. Ouch! That hurt. Come on in here. Come on. Alright. Looks like he's coming in. Looks like he's got some sort of fear roar. No! After me, you stupid thing. I swear to God, if these trikes kill him... I highly doubt they can. 
I'm glad the Kappa is dead, though. <laughs> At least we know the Kappa is dead. Oh, God. Get our gear and get out of here ASAP. Okay. I don't know where our Phoenix corpse is. Those things look like they're actually, like, hurting him. Maybe I stand corrected. Can you give me his stats, please, Spyglass? Oh, my God. He actually has taken quite a beating from those trikes. Run, 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 run. All right. Nope. Oh, my God. You're so close. Get in here. Oh, he's only got 8,000 health. Is that it? I reckon we could just trank him without even bothering about trapping him. Alright. I think he's trapped. Ow. Alright. Oh, yeah, he's trapped. He's, he's not getting out. He's a level... What level was he? 125? Well, I made all these darts for nothing? How much is Torpal? He's only got 39,000 Torpal. The bosses have more Torpal than him. 125 male. God, this guy took so long to farm as well. Let's just keep emptying into him. I think our Phoenix had all our raw mutton. I don't even know. And he's out. I'm not going to lie. That was a little lackluster. I was expecting this huge colossal fire that would rage on for millennia. But uh, this guy's a little bit disappointing. Only level 125. I don't know if we've got enough DNA to make a second one. I think we still need like a crap ton of Raptor. Only 8k health. That is very disappointing. Hold on. I wonder if... Is our Quetzal still knocked out? I wonder if we can... Oh, it's still knocked out. Tell me the Torpor is still going. Oh, okay. we got plenty of Torpor. I don't know how this thing's going to work. But, I mean, we might as well tame it up. It's here. Alright, so the Ultimasaurus is... Turns out to be not so much of an Ultimasaurus. That was really disappointing. Oh, let's see how much damage he deals when he wakes up, I guess. What sort of saddle would he take, too? Let's take a look here. Ultima. Okay, so he's got no saddle. So we'll try a Rex saddle. He's got the picture of the Rex. So I guess that would work. But uh, now we've just got to wait for him to tame up. So we'll head back to base, get a Rex saddle for this guy, and uh, see how we go, I guess. I was hoping for something a little bit more. He's only got 8k health, which is not a lot of health. Alrighty, guys, we're back at base. We've got two Phoenix eggs. I really hope one of these looks like the mama. Otherwise, I'm going to be bloody kicking myself. Alright, let's drop them. What do we got? Nothing. We lost the mama's mutations. <gasps> Why, world? Why would you do this to me for? We've already got a purple-footed one. God damn it. How many mutations do you have? Only one? What is this sorcery? <sighs> well, that's great. I mean, you've got a red chest, I guess. Yay. Man, that sucks. All right, well, we got to grab a Rex saddle, I believe. So we'll come in here. Uh, Rex, I don't think we've got an extra one floating around anywhere. And grab that. There we go. Awesome. Okay. <sighs> I was really hoping to have a Phoenix egg that would have the mutations, but I, alas, it just wasn't meant to be. That means we're going to have to spend so much time. Breeding them up again. God dang it. Alright. So, now that we've got the Rex saddle, let's do that. And we've just got to wait now for it to uh, tame up. Do we have another flyer that we can take? Besides from the Pteranodon. You're pretty much ready. Yeah, we'll take the Pteranodon for now. That's fine. Okay, let's head out there and wait for him to tame. Oh, scared the crap out of me. I thought that was a Alrighty, guys. Here we are. He's all tamed up. 187. Let's take a look at his stats. 10k health. 3,000 stam. 284,864 weight. He does take a Rex saddle, which is awesome. All right. Now to take him for a little bit of a test run. Okay. So we've got your standard bite. We've got some sort of ripping attack. I don't know if that's a roar. Uh, no, nope, that's the roar. Does he have anything else? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. All right, let's test this. Oh, we scared the Morella top. Sorry, buddy. Oh, damn. Actually, it hits a lot harder than I was expecting. 568 is on par with, like, our Indominus. So, does this attack do anything? Okay, so that attack is, like, sort of like a, a head knock and charge thing. So, our Quetz is going to get it. So <laughs> He's just picked it up. Did you guys see that? He just picked the bloody trike up. 
Holy crap, that was great. That was hilarious. Oh my god. That was that was sick. So it looks like we've gotten like a smaller version of a Quetz, a more compact version. But the the Ultimasaurus, he does hit quite hard. Like, we're hitting for 400, 500 damage, which is on par with like our Indominus Rex, which is pre <laughs> that's pretty good. Holy crap, I can't get over that. He just picks up dinos. That's sick. Alright, so I mean it's it's not oh damn, we already got 31 levels. Uh how much health did we get? 500-ish health. I feel like we just need to pump this guy all up in health, because we will want to take this guy to bosses. My question is, does he have like an uh, like does he stop bleeding or anything? He's got the raw. I don't think he's got any other moves. Yeah, I don't think so. I think that's it. Okay. I mean, it's not too bad. He's alright. Let's jump off him. Can we cryo upon him? We can cryo upon him. Awesome. Okay. So, we've got ourselves an Ultimasaurus. I wonder if these guys are breedable. I don't even know if the DNA dudes are breedable. And that's probably something we should find out. Because it would be helpful. I want to get this Quetz. I want to take this Quetz for a little bit of a test drive. <laughs> See what it's capable of lifting up. Seeing if we can pick up, like, what's the maximum size a normal Quetz can pick up? A Mammoth? Let's see if our little dude can pick up a mammoth. Alrighty guys, we're back at base. We've gotten ourselves a platform saddle. Okay. That was not what I was expecting, but it's... It's so small. Like, why did this come from the DNA? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Let's see if we can pick up the mammoth. Okay, so we can't pick up the mammoth. So it looks like we are limited to what we can pick up, which thank god, otherwise that would have been broken as heck. But the Quetz is like a little armored dude, which is, it's, I mean, it's pretty cool. When you think about it, like, he looks pretty cool. He's kind of got the same sort of design features as that, uh, Ultimasaurus. With all the ridges and everything like that, so... I don't know, he looks, he looks alright. Let's, let's see if we can get him to land there, mate. You wanna land for me? Look at his, like, hooked beak as well. So, I'm not happy with our Ultimasaurus though, I reckon we could get a higher level one, especially considering this guy came out at like, what, 170? He's at 288 at the moment. So, like, that's pretty nuts. And even, like, remember that we bloody lost that other Armored Serratosaurus? Even if we could get another one, that'd be pretty good. So, yeah, like, oh, it's just so much we need to do. Alright, well, what we're gonna do, I don't know if we should incubate these Rex Eggs. I think that's what we might do. I think we might incubate these Rex Eggs so that we can take on the bosses because we are going to take on the Ragnarok bosses in order to in order to get all the other tech engrams because as you guys can remember we've killed some of the thingy bosses like the Jurassic Park bosses but they didn't really give us much that's pretty much all we've unlocked tech generator cloning chamber yeah so we do need to take on like the other bosses so that we can actually get the other tech engrams which is what we're going to do with these Jurassic Park Rexes. But first we're going to get these little phoenixes out of the way. Come on little guys. Alright, there we go. That'll do. And we're going to have an army of little babies running around in a second here. Hold on, let's, let's drop. We probably should do some at a time, not all of them. Oh, there we go. Look at them all. Oh my god! Can you get that mouth out of my way, please? They're not for eating. Not these ones. Not just yet. Alright. 205, 190... 242, 209, I mean, pretty crummy levels, but eh. Give me that one, 190 again. Can't really do much about the levels, I suppose, unless we, like, breed for mutations. And I'm really not fussed after what we went through for the bloody, um, for the phoenixes. I should have hatched these guys at an obelisk. How many more eggs do I have? 6, 12, about 20. You know what? I have to unclaim them more, don't I? No, you know what? Let's just whistle passive. Goodbye, little babies. I know I'm a horrible person, but I don't really want to try and transport all of you to an obelisk. So I'm going to kill you here. Oops, sorry, daddy. Uh, we're going to kill you here, and we are just going to leave you to rot. And then what we'll do is we'll put a trough where they are, and then, <laughs> and then we'll just put all the meat of their sisters and brothers under it. Uh, what do we need for a trough? I don't think we have any metal. No, we don't. Uh, we need a saddle. Can we make a phoenix saddle? Ah, just another lovely day killing babies. 
There we go. Phoenix Saddle is being made. Okay. Oh, we forgot about one. Sorry. No escape for you either. All right. Sweet. So let's chuck this on here. Do you have enough weight to carry us? Uh, not really. Can we drop anything? Can drop the hide. Can drop the stone. Uh, hold on. I'll drop the prime. There we go. That'll do. All right. Whoa. What is going on? Oh, we still can't fly. We're still too heavy. Um, okay. Uh, I don't really have anything else I want to drop. You are... You're literally, like, stuck in the ground. Oh, okay. Now you can fly. I don't know what the hell that was, but it doesn't matter. We're going to grab some metal. We're going to fly over to Green Ob. I think that's the closest ob to us. Red Ob's over there. Mm. Green Ob is easier to set them up. We'll fly over to Green Ob and hatch all these Rexes. And then hopefully they raise up. Hopefully they won't die of starvation. Because knowing me that'll probably happen. And then we can just take them straight into the boss fight. Alrighty guys. Here we are. We're back. We're at... Uh, gr I think we're at Blue Ob actually. We didn't go to Green Ob because it was too cold for the eggs to hatch. So we decided to come up to the Blue Ob. And here we are. All our babies are out and about. And we actually got a mutation from one of them naturally. And it's this little dude here. Now, I have no idea what stats he got instead, but he did get this sort of maroney orangey color, which kind of looks cool. So I think we might leave this guy aside because we did get a couple with twins. So we would have enough um, Rexes in regards to being able to take on the bosses like to reach the dino limit. So yeah, we're going to disable wandering on the last few dudes. We've got a trough back there for them so that when they do get hungry, they can eat out of it. But this is going to be our army for next episode. So hopefully next episode we can take on the bosses. I'm not 100% sure on what... What do we need? Oh, we need a lot of artifacts. So we may have to do a couple of episodes of gathering artifacts in the meantime. Because a couple of those we are going to need to go hunting for. Yeah, we're going to have to go digging for those. Uh, we should have some artifacts actually hanging around. We might... Oh no, because I think we use them for the Indominus Rex. So, I'm not too sure. But, uh, yeah, there are our little baby Rexes that are hopefully going to raise up into nice strong Rexes. Hopefully, they don't die. It'd be a damn shame if we set them on fire right now and killed them all. But, uh, we're not going to do that. But, uh, other than that, guys, we're going to wrap up the video here. So, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe down below, down below, down below for more. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. And I got this soul.